Hello everybody and welcome to the Steam Showcase where today we are showing off Genesis Noir. This was developed by Feral Cat Den and let me just read through the synopsis so you have an idea of why this game was so interesting to me besides its art style which admittedly is very nice. A noir's adventure spanning time and space. When a love triangle between cosmic beings becomes a bit of confrontation, you witness a gunshot fired by a jealous god, otherwise known as the Big Bang, jump into an expanding universe and search for a way to destroy the creation and save your love. Now, that is a really fucking good idea. And I love the way that sounds. And honestly, I can't wait to have a look at it. I love my points and clicks adventures. I love noirs and all the way they look and all of the little puzzle bits. So... Yeah, this is definitely up my alley. Let's begin and have a look. Oh dear, there we go. There's the universe. For some reason, banging back and forth. I don't know why it's doing that weird zoom effect. Fair enough. There we go. Physicists state that a handful of dimensions you perceive are only a, a portion of those that constitute space-time. What the true nature of reality looks like, what existed before the Big Bang rocketed the universe into existence, these are unanswered questions. Yes, they are. Look at that. It was all spinny spheres before the world came into being. But imagination embodies the dark unknown in the myth. Out of this unknowable haze, a world emerges wrapped in familiar forms. Your mind transforms the wisps of prenatural smoke into bodies and steel and concrete. Your experience reshapes the world and makes this form eternal. Well, isn't that nice? There we go. I think we're seeing the world come into being. Right, there we go. We're giving it a name. I'm presuming the name. Oh, there we go. It's the constant. Lovely. Look at that. It looks like a window. How lovely. And I accidentally skipped a bit. Okay. Fellow traveller. There we go. That's the publisher. You know what? This is much more artsy than I thought it would be. And I love that. I have no idea who Skill Bard is. Presuming what that said. But there we go, look at that. This is very pretty. And there we go, there's Feral Cat uh, Den the Dev. And of course, this is a noir game, so you get that nice smooth jazz. <laughs> oh, I like it very much. There we go. A noir city built on the background of the cosmos is a fantastic idea. And I bloody love it. Look at this. It's a very interesting art style, I've got to say. Oh, dear. And there we are. I'm presuming that's us, given that it's a focus character and whatnot. There we go. Look at that. Oh, and you've got the rundown cinema as well. And it's all visual storytelling. I like that. I really do. So do we just walk around or is it click and drag? What is it? Oh, we can... Hello? Will you give me money? Oh! You want to buy a watch? Fair enough. Uh, let's select a watch. There we go. Let's go for that one. Buy a watch, damn it. You want to buy a watch? They did! Wonderful! We've got money! Lovely. Uh, you! You want to buy a watch? Come on! There we go. Let's give you a pocket watch, I guess. There we go. Lovely. It's a very interesting start to a game. I've got to admit, I didn't expect this. Oh, dear. You. You want to buy a watch? Everyone's getting watches today. Uh, let's get rid of that one. There we go. Lovely. I love how they're all showing different times as well. Oh, don't give me underwear, you bastard. Well, then. There we go. Oh, my God. I love the music in this. That is perfect. That is the perfect music. We've done the little symbols and it's so fun. Ah, oh, shit. I tripped over a shoe. Who leaves a shoe lying out in the middle of nowhere? I ask you. Oh, dear. Have we already got a femme fatale? A star femme fatale. What the hell? This is really well presented. I mean, I knew it would look good, but bloody hell. I don't know why. I, lo I love games with this kind of interesting visual to it. Especially with point and click games. They seem to be able to get away with it more than other genres. And I don't know what it is about them. I think it's because there's no sort of narrative reason for them to not be, you know, just regular looking people. I don't know. I wish I did. Why are we on a clock tower now? I don't know, but we are. There we go. <laughs> Is 
it's a very abstract game. And I do love that. There we go. I'm presuming this is our house, isn't it? There we go. Okay. Let's see. So we've got that. So what? Do, does that allow us to go outside or... Oh, no. We set the time. There we go. Lovely. Okay. So we've got moon. Oh, hello. Okay. So we are, we are effectively the clock person. We take care of the clock. Wonderful. I look so dejected. Uh, what do we got in here? A box of just covered but functional watches. Nice. I like I like the little camera shakes as well. Oh my god, we can just... Oh, I like that. I like how we can affect the environment. An advertisement from better days. Big money selling watches. Wonderful. What else we got? Hey, we got a phone. Eh, let's, let's take a call or make a call. Let's do something at least. It's weird, the animation's not the smoothest either, but it's still fairly interesting. Okay. Uh. Wait, do we actually have to need to know? Wait, what? Okay, so the first number's nine. What? Okay. Nine, eight, is it seven? Is it gonna be, no, it's not seven. Okay, nine, eight. Okay, I feel like I'm missing a puzzle here. Maybe I maybe I should have looked at the clocks a bit more. Nine eight zero. Yes! Perfect! This is a weird phone number. I don't even know who I'm meant to be calling. Oh god, why this is such a weird puzzle. I feel like Yeah, the entire clock building's blown apart. This is visually really, really cool. I just wish I had an idea what it meant. Uh, let's go for... No, it's not zero. Okay. I think I need the one which makes them move faster. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like there is a way to, to, to do this without, like, just guessing. Huh. Honestly, I probably should have paid more attention to the environment. That would have made a lot more sense. But now here I am. There we go. Okay, so six then. I oh, know. I'm presuming it's going to make me just go all around the clock more than once. No. 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 Uh. No. Yeah, there we go. I feel like there is a way to do this that wasn't so, uh, random, as it were. No. <laughs> is it a zero? Yes, it is. There we go. I wish I knew how to figure out that I should have used that number, but oh well. But yeah, the stars in the background is a very nice touch. Oh, God. Now it really is getting trippy. This is so weird. I I don't really know what to make it make of it. I can't I can't make head or tails of it. It's so odd. And I love it. We even have like a noir intro sequence with like the jazz. I kind of love this. I actually do. It's so weird. This is good. Okay. I still have no fucking clue how I was meant to figure out that phone number though. <laughs> oh, I obviously wasn't paying enough attention. And now we're at a giant door. Knock on the door. Oh wait, there we go. We have to actually interact. Open the fucking door. Are you gonna... Oh, wait, can we... No, we can't open it. Hmm. Open the door, you bastard. Okay. Okay. Uh, I still can't open the door. Wait, is this just a waiting game? 
Am I meant to be hearing stuff? Hmm. Oh! Wait, what? Oh my god, what have I done? Wait, wait, wait! What? Why did the door break? Okay. There we go. We, uh, we broke a door. We broke a door. And there's... Hello. Oh, there we go. There's the big bang. Wow, that is bright. Genesis. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Oh, this is so artsy. And now the universe is born because of that asshole. Genesis Noir. Lovely. This might be one of my favorite openings to a game that I did not understand in the slightest. There we go. She's got killed, kinda. And now this. Am I? Oh, I, I can actually control this. Uh, okay. What am I meant to do? I, I, I see time. I see infinite possibilities. And yes, I have no fucking clue what it means. Just give me my hips, Flask. There we go. Wait, can I can I actually take a drink? There we go, take a swig. It'll make you feel better. Bloody hell, this is so not avant-garde, but it is very odd. Hey, we've actually got some colours. There we go. Make the boozy stuff. Oh! Now we're just in the apartment. Wait, is he just drunk? Is that why we're seeing all of this? Well, he's out of the boost now, so I guess he must be sober. Uh, what can I do with that? Hmm. Who are you? A singer in peril. Okay. Um. Let me see. What are you going to do? What do we got here? A showcasing from a big bang. <laughs> Okay. Oh, there's something on the front. Hey, there we go. Okay. We've got an evil spiral. Uh, or at least an ominous spiral. Okay. And now, okay, well, you're a silly bastard, aren't you? You've just burnt yourself, haven't you? Oh, dear. What a silly ass. Again, the Big Bang began as a sphere of unfathomable heat and density, uniform and perfect. This humble volume contained all the energy which would become our universe, but time in perfection began to appear. After 10 to the minus 30 seconds, seven, that is a very short amount of time, that's below Pico, good grief. A minuscule fluctuations in the density of this energy formed. The surface of creation, no longer perfectly sterile, was now rough like fertile soil. Interesting. These imperfections in energy became seeds which, from which stars and galaxies and the very structure of this universe would grow. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm in for this. I'm, in, I'm up for this because, quite frankly, I, I don't remember the last time I've been so thoroughly confused by a game. It's sort of David Lynchian in my mind. That's what I'm feeling from it. <laughs> if David Lynch made a point-and-click adventure game. Wait, is music going to make a big part of this? Seeding. Okay. Fair enough. And now there's a tree because seeds... Yes, I understand the symbolism. And little apples. Okay. Glad we're all on the same page here. <laughs> okay, so what do we got? We got you. Hello. Can we can we walk through there? No, we can't. Okay. Let's have a look. Okay, so we've got some 
tumbleweeds. We got some more of this. We got a little whirlwind, which what does it do? Okay, we can't we can't touch the whirlwind. We can touch these. Wait, can we kick them into the whirlwind? Kick them into the whirlwind. No! Ah, okay. Oh! Oh, we're absorbing the green! Okay. Fair enough. I'm still not 100% sure of the symbolism. I just know there's a lot of it. Hello. Hello there. How are you doing? Oh, he's gone. And all he left behind were some stopwatches. Or flasks. Probably watches. Let's have a look. Okay. Oh, they're seeds. Okay. So, we can use them to get rid of those waves of light. Oh, that is good. That is very good. That's nice. I like... I like this. It's artsy and very weird. And I like it a lot. Oh, bloody hell. There we go. Did that not work? Come on. Uh, yeah, there we go. Absorb the light. There we go. Make yourself a little bush. Perfect. Okay. Now, who are you? Are you more seeds? Are you seeds that take on the black light? You are, aren't you? Okay. So there we go. Seeds that consume dark energy. This is so clever. To the point where I'm not 100% sure what it's going for. <laughs> right, what do we got here? Do we want to use a black seed there? Eh. What, what harm can it do? There we go. Look at it. It's a pretty sunflower. Oh, wait. Are we trying to make this spiral? Okay. Are we just trying to light it all up? I presume we are. It's getting very bright. It's kind of beautiful. There we go. That's that's lit up enough, isn't it? Wait, what am I? Oh, we're petal picking. And then it turns into a dandelion clock, I imagine. I don't know. It's very interesting. Don't get me wrong. This is a very interesting game. I'm just confused as hell by the symbolism. It's very pretty though. There we go. Now it's a now it's a big ball of fire. Lovely. I'm trying to think of the other point and click adventure games like this, which are so weird. There are a lot of them. I'm just trying to think of what they are. Wait, did I just make the sun? I did. I made the sun. Okay. I'm making the sun bigger. Fucking cow, what am I even doing here? And then there's that bloody crescendo and I cannot hear anything else. Oh, good grief. This is so weird. <laughs> Why is this so weird? Oh, dear. Right, I can't open up the gate. There's a guy there. I'm presuming I'm going to have to lift it up eventually. No. There's probably some more dark energy up ahead, but it would be nice if I uh, had bothered to take the other stuff. Right, so we're picking up the green. I don't know what the green is. But it's important, I guess. Okay, let's pack, uh, put another one of those in. There we go. Have we got another sunflower to make? What do we got? Come on, what do we got? A tiny little plant. There we go. Delightful. You know what? Yeah, the weird one besides this would have been Cloudpunk, I think. Oh my god, and you get the little bass lines every time you click on the cloud. Oh, this is so nice. I love it. I love it. I do. I do, because it's so weird and uh, wonderful. And what the fuck is with the peace lilies? Right, okay. Good, we can go this way now. This... <laughs> I don't even have a word for it. I don't. Surreal, I guess. Is, is the closest I could get to. It's surreal. 
Okay. Oh, oh, look at... <laughs> look at his face! Oh my god, that's really clever. So it looks like uneven earth. But if we get it to the wrong wavelength... Yeah, no, this is just wavelengths of sound. This is brilliant. So we need to make it a smooth wavelength. There we go. There's a smooth wavelength. Then we need to do it again. Make a uh, smoother wavelength, I guess. Oh, oh, I found it. God, this is so weird and so clever. With the way it uses sound with its visuals. I didn't even notice this either. We need to get to the peak of the wavelength. That is... Oh, there we go. We've now got a little mountain bush. Fantastic. Again, I love this so much for just for being weird and crazy. It's not even crazy. It's just weird. But still. Oh, wait. No. Okay. Uh, there we go. Give me a green. Okay. He did not give me the green. I must confess, I am disappointed. There we go. Feed on those light rays. Come on. Why didn't you do it? Come on. Feed on the light rays. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have to place it there? Maybe there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. There's a little bush. Fantastic. Let's keep going along. Right. So we've made bushes. We've done a lot of plant life. I, I feel like we're making the universe... Kind of, but not really. Uh, next one, okay. Now we've got white, so let's put down another white. Can we plant the whites? We can. There we go. Okay. Does this have a mini game associated with it? Oh god, it does. Uh, right. Oh, oh, okay. So I have to move my mouse up and down to get the sun to come out. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, crap. One moment. I went too far. Okay. Can you move it the other way? Oh, you can. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Back a bit. Back a bit. Back a bit. Back a bit. No. No. The other way. The other way. Damn it. No. Oh, God. It moves so much easier one way than the other. That is infuriating. Oh, but it's so beautiful. But it's so infuriating. Okay. Slow movement. That's it. That's all we need to do. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. Come on. No, don't go back. There we go. That should be an option, shouldn't it? No? Oh, wait. Do I have to... Oh, God. No. <laughs> I thought I just had to make the sun come up. I didn't realize I had to do all this bullshit. Wonderful. We're still doing it. We're letting the plant grow. There we go. But what does it mean? <laughs> oh, God. Do I still have to do it? No. There we go. That's great. Oh, my God. Why? 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 Just why? <laughs> There we go. Okay, let's get rid of you. You're going to die now. There we go. Poof. Go away. There we go. Thank you. More seeds. Lovely. Uh, Might as well throw that over there. There we go. Lovely. Uh, as I say, this is very inventive. It is very creative. Visually, this is one of the best looking games. Not like in terms of uh, graphics. It's nothing super complicated. But it is very distinct. This could only be noir. This could not be any other game that I can think of. And quite frankly, that's fucking good. It is phenomenal. Phenomenally done in so many ways. And this is a game at some point I want to finish. And I'm sure I will. Probably not today. Today, I think I'm only going to try and figure out what the fuck's up with all this. But... There we go. The way that it uses the music, the way that it uses the ideas and everything, 
is so well done. It is absolutely insane, the level of detail they put into it as well. There's not a huge amount on display, but you can tell there was a lot of effort put into it. I think that's a better way to ex exemplify it. There we go. Oh, dear. But, yeah, no, this is just a very artsy game. And for many people, I'm sure that would be a put-off. Not for me, though. Not for me. I'm, I'm that bastard that likes games that are artsy and up their own ass. And I love this. I legitimately love it. It's... Ah, oh, so nice. It's so nice to play a weird game. Like, I thought I'd get that with Wattam. But this is more the sort of weird that I was after. Right, what do we got here? We got a tree. Okay. Oh. Okay. They break off. Uh, so then we can break off there. We can break off there. We can break off there. We can break off you. Oh, look at the little birdies. Die, birdie. Right. Uh, we can break off you. Break off you. Okay, can we break off you? No, we can't. Hmm. Okay. What are we going for? Are we going for all four birds? I think we're going for all, f all four birds. Oh, no. There we go. Come on, give me a birdie. I just want a birdie, man. Come on. Be nice. Okay. Ooh. Okay. This is different. This is very different. Okay. Okay. Do that again. Okay. So now there. Okay. And now you. Okay. This is very interesting, but very weird at the same time. What do you want from me, game? What the hell do you want from me? Uh, right. Break off you. Come on. What do you want from me? Help me out here. Okay. Okay. I kind of have no idea what it's wanting from me now. But that's okay, I guess. I oh, know. Let's try going that way. Okay. What the hell does this game want? Uh, okay. What the hell does it even want from me? I have no idea. Right, let's try again. Okay, so we've got three there. Then we've got two more. Okay. Ah, no. That ruined it. Yeah, that's more like it. There we go. Yes. I've no idea if it's to... Oh, is it to do with the birds? Oh, it is. It was to do with the birds. What was I doing faffing around with the tree for then? I... Oh, no. That's the problem with artsy games. Sometimes you have no idea what the fuck you're meant to do. Right. And I love it. I really do. Like, this is so distinct and interesting. And frustrating. I love them all in equal measure. Right. Now. What do we got here? What do we got now? Is this going to be a simple plant and done? No, we're doing the roots. Oh, crap. Okay, so. Uh. What? Oh, okay. So there's the water. Interesting. So, what we need to do is get rid of any obstructions and then shoot them off into the atmosphere. And that gives us some more seeds, I guess. Right. Yes. So, I can get rid of those. There we go. Good. That's a shame we can't just do that preemptively. Oh, look, a bone. Get the bone. There's probably a little doggy somewhere. You could use it. There we go. There's a triangle. Uh, there's another shape. Lots of shapes today. There we go. 
Okay. God, this is so weird and kind of wonderful. I just... I don't... I don't even know why they made it as weird as it is. <laughs> By all accounts, this is a memorable game. Even just from the short 30 or so minutes I've played so far. I don't think I'm ever going to forget how weird this was. And honestly, it has definitely got me interested in playing it through to the end. Like, no question. Wait, do I need to get them all to the end? I guess so. There we go. Let's get rid of you. Come on. Shoot. Be gone. Be gone, vile did bastard. Right. Uh, good. Ah, wait, is that it? Did I just need to get one through? Yeah, apparently I only needed to get one through. Okay, fair enough. There we go. Now the water's going up. And hopefully it'll just grow into a big-ass plant. Oh, wow, that was such a... <laughs> hey, that's more like it. It's turned into animals and snakes and a majestic fucking elk. Wonderful. I don't get it. But I love it. That's basically this game in a nutshell. I don't get it, but it is remarkably interesting. <laughs> okay. So now we've got ones that will eat the green energy. There we go. Look at that. It's all gone. Okay. Now, uh, I think if we put down another white seed, there we go. We should be able to pop that down, get a nice tree. I do like that each little thing requires a little, a different puzzle, a different method to fix it. This one apparently just requires sleeping. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's like a little road to the middle of nowhere. As I say, it's nice that not all of them require a puzzle. Like, that is just intrinsically lovely uh right so now we can get rid of these gold bars so let's pick up you devour there we go and we can go on come on go around him there we go i'm not sure what all this stuff i'm collecting is though that's my only that's my one slight downside right you've got more gold haven't you i'm sure you do you, oh uh, I don't have, no, my gold are gone. I guess I only needed them for that. Ah, oh, right, yeah. Hello, you. Hello, buddy. Can I use my seed? Or is there somewhere else I should be going? There we go. Boom, there we go. He's dead. Oh, God, hello. <laughs> hello, you. Oh, God, he wants a watch. Or he's selling a watch. Something to do with a watch. He's killing the watch, which is like killing him. I don't know. Oh, but the symbol's on his hand. Wait, is that symbol literally just a clock part? What the fuck is this game? Okay. So we tap that. Or do we tap it? Or do we tap it again? I don't know. I love that he's just as stumped as I am. A watch spring with untapped potential. A familiar shape that requires further examining. Yes. Okay. Good. And now we're, now we're just standing in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Uh... We have a watch spring. There we go. Why do we have a watch spring on our hat? What? This is so odd. And my mind is slowly breaking from how weird it is. Honestly, I don't even know what to say about it. But I just got an achievement, so that's something. Oh boy, there we go. And we're back here. Okay. Okay.
Um, are we solving the mystery? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Yes, yeah, so she's been shot. There's something to do with watch springs. Which has to do with the Big Bang and something to do with a Fibonacci sequence, I think. That's what it looks like. Oh, I love the little image of her thanking him. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, let's just plan how to save a god. Lovely. Right. Uh, my mind is broken, so I'm going to end it there today. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And if you didn't enjoy this video, well, there's always a button for you as well, but there we go. I've been Toggle Jam. This has been Genesis Noir. It's very weird, but I would be lying if I said I didn't really love this. This is this is so bizarre. I'm definitely going to finish this thinking about it. It is, it is a fascinating time. But there we go. Until next time, I'll see you then.